it's your girl Shay. Welcome to another video. So in this video, we're doing a summer Sunday reset. So of course on Sundays and you know weekdays, I like to just like relax, you know, spend some time with my family. And recently we've been really loving plants lately. I got my whole family, you know, in love with plants. Same as me. So we decided to take a half an hour drive to this Richie's. So Richie's is like a place that sells plants. This one is all focused on flowers. So we found some beautiful sunflowers, some beautiful caladiums. Look how big these were. I'm using my hands just like for measurement because I really want you to see how big these leaves were. It was amazing. And then because we also had some nice weather, we decided to take the new car for a wash and vacuum. So we were vacuuming all the dirt out, making sure everything looks ni nice and sparkling clean. We wiped everything down. So, yeah, it was a nice Sunday reset. So, I actually usually start cleaning my bathrooms usually, but I tried something different this day. So, I decided to clean my at home office. So, I work from home three days a week. So, I I also eat at my desk, you know, kind of gets a little bit messy. So I want to make sure everything is nice and sanitized and reset for the next week. So I'm just Lysoling it, making sure everything is nice and disinfected. And then I go down and I wipe off my laptop. So my work laptop and then my personal one. And then I'm going to be wiping the two monitors that I have. Make sure there's no dust, make sure there's no debris. These things collect dust so freaking easily. Oh, that rhyme, no dust, no debris. These things collect dust so freaking easily. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, um, yeah, honestly, if you guys have trouble finding motivation to clean, because I'm not always motivated to clean, I'm telling you that, right? Uh, it's it's become a part of my routine, so I, I've been using discipline to kind of get myself in the mood to clean. But put yourself on some soca. Any island girls this subscribed who's from the islands, or you know, put on put on the type of music that you like and get to it. So this plant is called a caladium and it has been giving me so much trouble. Now I hate to say this because I love plants, but sometimes they just do not vibe with me and they start dying okay so i'm sanitizing a pair of scissors and i'm just going to be pruning it so i've discovered with this plant it actually revived itself but um because these grow from bulbs they just grow back it's, it's not a big deal but for me i'm like no i want this plant to be absolutely healthy um this one's really finicky so it needs the soil to be moist at all times it cannot dry out it cannot be too wet so it has to be like it's like a goldilocks situation very annoying Oh, these are very beautiful plants. Anyways, so after cleaning up my desk, uh, the last thing I'm going to be doing is sweeping and mopping the floor. So I'm using this method. It's a hardwood floor cleaner. Um, you can actually use it without water, but I like to add it to water with some uh, Lysol. And that just adds the like disinfection um, portion to it because in my room, I deal with plants a lot and there's soil on the ground, dead leaves, blah, blah, blah. So I just wanna make sure everything's nice and sanitized. And I love the smell of this one, it's lemon. So we're gonna be deep cleaning the bathtub. So I bought this little drain cleaner off Amazon. It was like five bucks. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront down below if you guys want one. Um, but I'm really proud because if you watch my video like a few weeks prior, there was a huge clump of hair that just came out and it was my hair, so I can't say nothing. But uh, yeah, it was perfectly clean. So I've been using this Barkeeper's Friend and I cannot stop raving about this product because I love it, okay? Uh, now I will recommend the powder version versus the liquid. For some reason, I find the liquid is just a little bit less um, effective to me, pretty much. Uh, I like to make like a foam with the powder and the liquid doesn't do that. So I use it on everything like uh, stainless seal, any type of like, um, anything that gets like hard water stains. So like the faucets, stuff like that. So like, as you can see, I'm making a little mix here with the Lysol, um, just to give it uh, a little bit of scent, you know, cause this product doesn't really have a scent. It almost smells like baking soda, which, some people might say lacks a scent. Um, so I'm just foaming it up, sudsing it up with my uh, scrub mommy. I know it's a jump scare, it, it needs to be replaced, okay? Uh, I'm just waiting for it to actually officially die and then I will. But yeah, so this helps get rid of the hard water stains from minerals and all that stuff and it also disinfects. So I just suds this up, cover everything in the uh, bathroom sink, make sure everything is nice and disinfected. And I also wipe down every single thing that's on the bathroom counter. So like all my creams, my lotions, oils toothpaste all that stuff because you don't know what splattered up on it you know what i mean it, it sounds nasty but i like to disinfect everything then this has got to be one of my favorite things to do and it's cleaning the toilet like i know this is giving like cinderella like oh she's on her hand and needs cleaning things but i don't know i just love cleaning the toilet i don't know why um make sure you guys scrub all the way down below okay because this is something like between my girlfriends we would be like oh like if you go to a guy's house and you you look down below on the toilet and you can see if he cleans it or not you know that's how you can tell if they're they're clean 
So make sure, men, ladies, make sure you're cleaning your toilet, okay? If you guys have a bad smell in your bathroom, it could be bacteria buildup. So what I like to do is take this Lysol bacteria spray and it just spritz off the um, toilet brush because after cleaning that toilet, you know, the bacteria is now on your brush. So I want to make sure that everything is nice and sanitary, wipe everything down, including the handle, and then I'm going to be putting a nice little Kleenex box and then the air freshener. So here's a trick that I have been doing. So I bought a dry duster from the dollar store okay and I just use that to clean down the shower this helps you out if you don't want your back broke okay um, of course these are Lekka clay balls <laughs> it's so funny people commented saying they thought this was chocolate and it's hilarious because I thought it was too but it's for my plants so I was actually trying to move everything and I accidentally spilled it and it was so annoying because I had to go pick it up but it's okay so I am sweeping and mopping the kitchen floor now this gets used very often because we always cook um you know sometimes we like when we're bringing in plants and groceries like we, we wear our shoes inside so i have to clean that up and then i'm going to be disinfecting the kitchen sink i'm using some clorox bleach spray so i like to bleach down the kitchen sink because obviously i prepare we prepare food here we clean our dishes all that stuff so i want to make sure everything is nice and sanitized i'm also using this uh, dawn it's like the uh spray on soap but I like it because it has like a continuous spray. So you just pump it once and it sprays for like a good 5-10 seconds. And I'm just scrubbing everything down. I'm using a, a dish brush actually to scrub everything down. And I use some of the liquid Barkeeper's Friends. Now, even though I don't like it, I'm trying to use it up. Okay, So I just disinfect everything, everything around. I also disinfected the cups that I hold, like the scrubbers, um, like the little dish things, all that. So everything was nice and sparkly clean. So the liquid one of the Barkeeper's Friends is something that I use for the uh, stovetop and I wanted it for the stovetop because it's a glass stovetop. Now, it, this one doesn't really do too much in like terms of like shininess or taking off old food, um, but it does what it can. So on this beautiful, nice little Sunday, I like to go enjoy my weekend, obviously. And so this weekend we went to the um, experimental farm. So the experimental farm is where um, in Canada we have agriculture, um, like almost, ex I guess, experiments. Like they have a bunch of animals that they're testing out. Uh, they test out different crops, stuff like that. So I work for Agriculture Canada, so we get to go in for free. So I went with my coworker and we got to see all the animals. And then they also had like a little mini petting zoo so we got to see some bulls some turkeys some bunnies some chickens all that stuff honestly it was really fun actually one of the perks of working for agriculture is that we get to go in free for like certain museums so this is actually considered a museum so we got to see all the animals it's mainly for kids but honestly it was actually really really fun to go check out everything um but we also have access to this huge tropical greenhouse and i've put it in videos before i actually did like a whole farm tour um but i'm obviously going to be trying to go again this year because it is beautiful they have huge plants oh my god because they have the ideal conditions for these tropical plants they are huge they're huge huge okay so it was like my dream come true but it was a nice fun relaxing day at the farm just spent some time with friends um we actually got to hand feed some goats and they were so funny because they were actually like fighting over the grass but yet still in their cage they had a bunch of grass it's like they didn't want to eat that they wanted to eat the grass that was outside so it's it's like that saying it's like you want what you can't have you know what i mean but they wanted to be hand fed they were spoiled okay they got some little piggies and all that stuff <laughs> It's funny because when I first got the job at agriculture, I was like, oh, like, I don't know anything about like farming or farmers, anything like that. Uh, but I've learned so much in the last year of working with agriculture. We actually deal with providing funding to farmers for, you know, it could be a project, it could be equipment, um, it could be for like livestock illness. So it's actually a really, really important part of our economy. And part of the museum is teaching how they harvest like canola oil, 
how they harvest mussels, all that stuff. And it's really cool because they break it down for kids to understand. So it's actually a really kid-friendly type museum. And they also do some like workshops. So uh, they had Easter on the farm. So they had little chickies, little uh, bunnies and all that. And it was actually really, really cute. There were so many kids. Uh, honestly, it was great, great activities. So when I plan my weekends, I like to do most of my cleaning. That's like the boring part. I want to get that out of the way. So usually I do that Friday. That takes me through the day, and then I like to do something rewarding after. I'll go plant shopping, or for example, this day we went to the farm. It was a nice, beautiful day. Um, but yeah, I just don't. I don't like to be all like clean, 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 clean. I like to enjoy my clean house, <laughs> you know. Um, but to do that, I have to stay disciplined. And even though I may not want to clean things, and you may not want to clean anything. I tell myself, like, I'm gonna feel so much better after I clean this. My mental health is better, you know, my physical health is better, emotional health. I just feel all around good when I look around my room and everything is clean. When things is cluttered, I'm like, oh, this is very disorganized. I, like, cannot focus. I cannot plan things when my room is in disarray. So this helps me in all areas of my life, and I'm pretty sure it helps you. And I actually had a really, really sweet comment on my last video, and it was somebody uh, someone new who I've never seen them comment before saying that it really helped them for me to explain instead of taking all your tasks and being overwhelmed by them to actually just break them up into small little things and then complete the large things first because that takes the most time and energy or complete the thing that you have been procrastinating doing and then do the small little things because if you don't have the energy or you don't get the time to do those small things you can postpone it because it's small but the big things are done. So that's just the way that I do things. Um, if I have a big task that's looming over me, I will try to complete it as quickly as I can, get that off my plate, and then the small little task, eh, maybe I don't have the energy, maybe I'll complete it tomorrow, you know? And that actually really helped her and she got a lot of cleaning done and I'm, I'm so happy, honestly. This is why I make the videos. I love hearing the feedback. If you have any stories like that, please comment them down below because I love to hear them. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Sunday reset. Um, if you got it this far in the video, comment some sunflowers down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!